Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Will again. Um, I'm going to show you the features on another app that I use, media editing app that I use, Font Studio. Um, and I'm going to use one of the pictures I just created in the last video um, to upload to Instagram. Now, this is the main reason why I love using Font Studio is because sometimes when I upload uh, pictures to Instagram, like the picture I just created, Instagram has a certain um, pixel pixels uh, format that they use, size that they use uh, when uploading to Instagram. Um, so let's just just use the picture I just created. Okay, see what I mean? Uh, the whole picture doesn't fit in. They won't. It, it's too big. No matter how I resize it, is it'll cut off the whole. It'll cut off some of the picture, and I want the whole picture. See? So when I try to edit, part of the picture is cut off. So what I use is, I go ahead, if the picture is too big, I go to Font Studio. Uh, click on Picture, Image and I upload the picture that I want and see how it has the whole picture it has it in a square format which uh, is formatted for Instagram um, now you can choose any one of these frames you know any one of these colors frames it doesn't matter um, whichever one that you like you know they have all these different outer frames that you can use um, but since most of my outer frame is black for that picture I'm going to just use the black and hit OK. All right, now you can use because uh, this is mainly what Font Studio is used for to add uh, text to your photo. Um, you would just double tap and you will add your text. Now you can add anything you want. Um, and after you add your text, type in your text. You know, you can choose the font, any style font. They have tons of different font styles you can use. Uh, you can choose the color of the font that you want. You can choose if you want it like shadow, what color is shadow uh, you want to use. You can choose if you want it. Uh, to the left, to the right, and you want a left space, right space, or you want it centered, and then you would just click OK. But I'm not going to use any fonts, so I'm just going to use that one, and I'm going to click the share button at the top right. Now I can save it to my photos, upload it to Instagram, Facebook, or click more if I want to upload it uh, to anything else. Uh, list of social media sites I want to upload it to but the main reason why I use this is because I wanted to upload it to Instagram so I'm gonna hit Instagram and there it is see my full picture so when I go to try to use filters or anything that I want to see I have the full picture oh I don't want that second in there though uh, that second I don't know why I did that why I put that in there so let's take that out then I'm gonna share it Instagram Oof. hit it there you know use some filters if I want uh, uh, let's see uh, I'll just use a simple filter you don't have to put that in there. You can edit that out. And just put in something. And then I upload it. Poof, and there it is. I have my whole picture in there that I wanted in there in the first place. So, um, that's 
the main feature I really wanted to show you guys. So if you do, you you know, you're on Instagram a lot and you got pictures or you create pictures and they're too big, they, you know, they, they can't fit on Instagram, just use Font Studio. It'll resize it. It'll make it, um, it'll fit it for Instagram for you. So that's, uh, that's uh, my preview of the features on uh, Font Studio. I hope you have fun with it.